Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! Hello everyone, I am OJ Serkinia. At ako naman si Kayan Arceo. And this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. For several weeks, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Our first contestant is Dina. She was an IT for DepEd who lists volleyball and mobile legends as her hobbies. Our second contestant is Jojo. He is a freelance talent agent and though he loves being on a set or in casting, he says he can work in any field. Our next contestant is Charles. Charles is a computer whiz and an ex-pro esports athlete who loves games and challenges. And finally, Gio. Gio worked as a nurse in a tertiary hospital during the pandemic, but now he is busy being in a band and says he has calignophobia. Our four contestants will be competing under the watchful eye of today's k panel of experts. First is Professor Anril Tiatko. Chairperson of the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts, UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Marian Roque of the Institute of Mathematics, UP Diliman. And we have Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the Department of History, UP Diliman. Welcome everyone. Diretso na tayo sa competition. Contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Dina, how many sides does a rectangle have? Three. Malik, four. Jojo, in what month of the year did the 9-11 attack in the U.S. happen in 2001? July. Malik. September. Charles. In sports, what does B stand for in PBA and NBA? Basketball. K-Check. Gio. How many legs does a spider have? Eight. K-Check. Dina. What book is a collection of maps? Atlas. Jojo, on what island can you find the most tamarau in the wild? Davao. Male, Mindoro. Charles, how many faces does a cube or cubical box have? Three. Male, six. Gio, what is the largest ocean on Earth? Atlantic. Male, Pacific. Dina. In what month do we celebrate National Heroes Day? June. Male, August. Jojo, pandas are native to what country? China. Charles, the male of what animal is called a stallion? Horse. Kate, Gio, what is the eighth month of the year? August. K-Check! And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Nako, OJ, parang may kaba pa sa ating mga contestants. Kaya, para masolusyonan yan, mabuting tanungin natin ang ating panel of experts. Nako, in particular, pakiramdam ko may gustong itanong si Professor Marian. Bakit ako? Pero mukhang takot pa si Dina at Jojo na sumagot, ha? Pero oh, yung iba naman, nagugulat sila pag nakakasagot sila. Especially si Gio, parang ah, nasagot ko yun, parang ganun. Pero interesting si Gio kasi nurse siya, pero nag-write ng songs niya mula 7 years old daw. At ngayon ay nasa band at 
Marami kang talent, pero meron kang collagenophobia. The new word for the day. Ano ba yung collagenophobia? Bakit ka may ganun? Phobia is a bit embarrassing. Uh, but for the benefit of the people who doesn't know my phobia, it's fear to beautiful girls. Takot ka ba ngayon? Uh, actually, I get palpitations. I turn, my, fa my face turns red whenever I see beautiful ladies. Pero sa score ni Gio ngayon, isa siya sa leading. So parang wala ka bang kinatatakutan sa set natin ngayon? <laughs> But uh, anyway, ang score ni Gio at ni Charles ay parehong 20. So nakatig dalawang tamang sagot sila. At si Dina at si Jojo naman ay pwedeng-pwede pang humabol. Kayo, nakailang sagot ba kayo? So ready na ba kayo para sa susunod na round? Ang pabilisan round? Next! Here on K Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Let's revisit the scores before we proceed to the next stage. Charles and Gio are in the lead with 20 points each. Dina and Jojo, habul kayo! Gusto kong kausapin ang ating mga contestants. Let me begin with Dina. Dina, isa ka daw sports enthusiast. Pero hindi lang normal sports, kundi pati esports. Maari mo bang ipaliwanag sa amin kung anong ibig sabihin ng esports na iyong kinahuhumalingan ngayon? Uh, para sa yung esports, uh, any age of people, uh, pwede po maglaro ng uh, mobile games. Ayun. Right. So kahit anong age pala, so hindi lang yung mga anak ko ang naglalaro ng, uh, ang pwedeng maglaro ng esports, pwede rin nila akong turuan. That's right, Kaya, at mukhang mapapasabak ako after ng ating shoot, no? Nalaruin ang mga esports na kinahuhumalingan ng mga bata ngayon. Charles, narinig ko na mahilig ka rin maglaro at mahilig ka rin sa mga challenges. Could you tell me more about these games and challenges that you're into right now? Uh, yun, um, like what Dina said, um, we're, we're also into esports, but the, uh, she, she, does, she does mobile games, but I do... Um, PC games as well, and in challenges naman, the reason why I love challenges in games is because it improves for uh, what skill that I want to improve, and it improves my personality as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Charles. So, mahilig ka sa challenges. Baka sakaling hindi lang ikaw ang mag-improve ang score, kundi lahat kayo dito sa susunod na right. round. Baka may gusto pang itanong ang ating uh, panelist na si Prof. Anri. Aha. Um, napaka-interesting nitong grupong ito. Mahilig maglaro. Pero sana hindi puso ang mga nilalaro ninyo. <laughs> Etos lang. Okay. Um, siguro ang masasabi ko lang ay ipagpatuloy natin ang sportsmanship sa pagsagot ng mga tanong. Yun lang. Tama si Prof. Unreal. Thank you very much po. Now we will go to the K-Check Pabilisan Round where you will have to buzz in first to earn the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero pag mali ang sagot ninyo, magkakaroon kayo ng minus 10 points. So kailangan mag-ingat mabuti ang ating contestants before they press that buzzer. So let's begin. Contestants, question number one. What province was Aurora part of in 1978. Jojo? Quezon. Question number two. What everyday item has the chemical formula NaCl? Geo. Uh, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride or salt? K check. Question number three. Which German composer, known for his Ninth Symphony, became completely deaf near the end of his life? Ooh. 
answer is Ludwig van Beethoven. Go to question number four. Buoyed by being featured in the horror streaming TV series Stranger Things, which 1985 song by Kate Bush made it to the top of the music charts in 2022? <laughs> Running up that hill. Go, let's go, contestants, let's go. Right. Question number five. On September 1, 1939, the German forces of Adolf Hitler invaded what country to begin World War II? Poland. Charles. Poland? Poland. Check. Question number six. Halfway, halfway. Question number six. Mumbai is the second largest city in what Asian country? Geo. India. India, Geo. Okay, check. Question seven. In Washington, D.C., what does D.C. stand for? District of oh, Columbia. Sabihin ko na dapat. Kaya pa. Kaya pa. Question 8. Scientists have recently found that part of this coral reef has recorded its highest amount of coral cover in nearly four decades. What is the name of this coral reef found off the east coast of Australia? <laughs> Jojo. Great Barrier Reef. Akala ko rin, makukuha ninyo yun. May lang. May apat na tanong pa. Question number nine. What tire company was named after the inventor of vulcanized rubber. Charles. Michelin. Michelin. Yeah. Good year. Good year. Ludwig yung usap. Pabumili na kayo nito for your vehicles. Question 10. Which 1967 song by the Four Seasons was covered by Italian rock band Maniskin in 2021? Gio? Song title, right? Begging. 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 Good, good, good. Question 11. In Earth Science. What do you call the point on the Earth's surface above the focus of an earthquake? Charles. Epicenter. Epicenter. Kate Check. Oh, alam natin yan. Damang dama natin ng mga epicenter at unang tanong palagi pag kami naramdamang nito. Final question, contestants. When Gloria Arroyo was elected president. In 2004, who won the vice presidential election? Charles? Nolly de Castro. Nolly de Castro. Kate. And that ends our fabulous and wrap. What a round. I am impressed with some of them, but I am particularly interested in Jojo's performance. Jojo, nahirapan ka ba doon sa round na iyon? At paano kaya maa-apply yung sinasabi mo sa amin na flexibility mo sa iyong standing sa ating K-Check show ngayong araw? Uh, actually po, doon sa mga sagot ko, uh, siguro nagulat lang din ako na yun ang lumabas sa bibig ko na answers. And then, uh, doon din naman sa flexibility po, uh, 
ibig po sabihin nun, uh, kagaya ko po, as, as a person, uh, kung saan man po ako dalhin ng field, I can adapt agad po sa mga, uh, kagaya po sa aking, uh, sa, sa, sa aking likeness po ng isang casting na agent, uh, I'm a talent agent, uh, kung ano pong binigay ng, ng director, uh, na, nakukuha ko po agad para po din po sa mabilis na, na process ng, ano, ng, ng production. Oh, so magaling si Jojo mag-adjust. So madali rin siguro siyang makaka-ahon sa kanyang score ngayon. Hopefully. <laughs> Tama ka dyan, Prof. Kayen. But I would like to ask Professor Neil regarding Jojo's answer about flexibility and maybe his performance in, in our show. Tingin ko si Jojo meron lang, ninimerbios lang siya. Sa dalawang rounds, kaya pang kumabol sa susunod na ground. Kung flexibility, kailangan i-flex mo yung brain power sa ultimate pagalingan round. Right. Maraming salamat, Prof. Neil. At kailangan talagang banatin pa ni Jojo at ng iba nating mga contestants ang kanilang brain power para makahabol sa ating round. Kayang-kaya pa nila yan. Meron pang isang round pagkatapos nito. Right. Um, kaya tignan natin ang mga scores ng ating contestants. Gio is in the lead with 80 points, followed by Charles with 70 points. Dina, habul ka pa. Jojo, habul ka din. And with the scoring in the next round, kayang-kaya pa nilang humabol. Talagang hindi pa natin malalaman kung sino ang mananalo sa labanang ito until we get to our ultimate pagalingan round. And that is up next, here on K-Check! Welcome back. Bisitahin natin ulit ang scores. So in the lead, we have Gio with 80 points. Following closely behind is Charles with 70 points. Dina, pwedeng-pwede ka pang magkaroon ng points. At si Jojo, pwedeng-pwede pa rin kahit negative 20 ang iyong standing sa ngayon. Kaya, and we'll find out kung sino makakahabol sa ating final round as we proceed to K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. In this round, correct answers are worth 30 points and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At dadagdagan pa natin ang pressure sa ating mga contestants dahil in this round, mula sa ating professors, sa panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Professor Andrel, may we have your question, please? Okay. So, ito, unang tanong. Ang isdang ito is endemic o likas sa Luzon and Palawan Islands and is considered as one of the smallest fishes in the world. Anong isda ito? Gio. Tawilis. Malay. Okay. Ang conservation status ng isdang ito ay critically endangered mula sa Oxodercidae family at Phylum cordata. Karamihan sa kanila ay transparent at ito ang Pandaca pygmea, Pandaca pygmea. o biyak o tabios o dwarf pygmy Thank you, Thank you Professor Andrel. Professor Marian, it's now your turn to ask a question. Punta naman tayo sa chemistry. What is the heaviest naturally occurring element? Okay, this is a silvery white metallic chemical with chemical symbol U. The correct answer is uranium. Uranium. Prof. Neil, may we have your first question, please? Pangatlong tanong, payo or spelled P. A Y E W is a local term up north that means what?
ito ay isang katutubong salita ng mga ifugao, tanyag ito bilang tourist destination sa Cordillera. Ang tamang sagot ay hagdang-hagdang palayan o rice terraces. Professor Andriel. Okay, so, ikaapat na tanong. In 2013, Super Typhoon Yolanda made landfall in Leyte and Samar, killing an estimate of 6,300 individuals. Ano ang international name ng Super Typhoon? Gio? Ayan. November 3, 2013, umag-form siya sa Pacific Ocean. November 7, nag-mag-landfall siya sa Guian Eastern Samar. At ang international name nito ay Hayan. Hey, check! Dumako naman tayo kay Professor Marian. Kayo na tanong ni Prof. Andrew, like smallest fish, di ba? Ito naman tanong ko. What is the smallest prime number? Recall prime number divisible by itself lang and one. And one is not a prime number. The smallest prime number is two. Thank you, Professor Marian. Professor Neil, may we have your question, please? Which country defeated the United States in the semifinals and Italy in the final to win the men's basketball gold medal match in the 2004 Olympics. Makikita ang bansang ito sa South America. Buenos Aires ang kabisera ng bansang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay Argentina. Professor Andrel, may we have your question, please? Okay, mula Argentina, balik tayo sa Pilipinas. <laughs> In 1925, in 1925, a series of short stories titled "Mga Kwento ni Lola Basham" came out in all Tagalog language magazine DIY. Who is the originator of Lola Basham? Jojo. Kaparas. Kaparas. <laughs> Malay. Um, siya rin ay kilalang sarswelista at siya rin ang nagsulat ng sarswelang walang sugat. Siya si Severino Reyes. Yes. Professor Maria. Acetaldehyde is one of the most important aldehydes occurring widely in nature. It is composed of two carbon molecules, four hydrogen molecules, and one oxygen molecule. What is the chemical formula for acetaldehyde? The formula is CH3CHO. Professor Neil, it's your turn once again. Next question, what form of government was in force by Emilio Aguinaldo when he declared Philippine independence on June 12, 1898. Ito ang piniling gobyerno ni Aguinaldo dahil panahon yun ang digmaan. Ang tamang sagot ay dictatoria. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Andriel, your last question, please. Yes. Okay. Which provincial capital in the Philippines use a peacock or parabola as the centerpiece of its official seal? Endemic ang peacock dito sa provinsyang ito. Okay. At ang lungsod ng probinsyang ito na siyang capital niya ay ang Puerto Princesa. Uh, okay. Professor Marian, your final question please. Final. So, finally, how much time does it take for a ball to reach the ground when dropped from top of a building 
which is 490 meters tall. Again, how much time does it take for a ball to reach the ground when dropped from top of a 490 meter tall building? Okay, so use the formula height equals one half g times t squared, where g is the acceleration due to gravity. The correct answer is 10 seconds. To conclude this round, Professor Neil, may we have your question, please? Final question. Pinalak weaving is identified with what ethnic community? Matatagpuan ang pangkat etniko sa probinsya ng South Cotabato. Ang tamang sagot ay Tiboli. Thank you to our panel of experts. And that is the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Wala ko alam kung mga And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Gio, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 95 points. We'll see Gio again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. And we would also like to thank Dina, Jojo, and Charles for joining us today. And especially our panel of experts, Prof. Anriel, Prof. Marian, and Prof. Neil. This is Kayan Arceo. And I am OJ Serkinia. Join us tomorrow for another... K-Check!